फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल एडुकेशन हब एडुकेशन हब इज अ चैनल वेर यू गेट ऑल द कंप्यूटर रिलेटेड लेक्चर्स टूडे इस टॉपिक इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू कंप्यूटर बिफोर स्टार्टिंग वंस अगेन आई हैव टू टेल यू इफ यू लाइक आवर वीडियोज देन लाइक इट शेयर इट एंड डोंट फॉर गेट टू सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल एंड press the bell button to get notification of all our future lectures obviously give your previous command what the lecture you want so let's start introduction to computers before that starting everything we should know what is computer computer is an electronic device capable of performing arithmetic and logical operations it store a large volume of information for future reference so its take input process gives output and store for future reference that is nothing but computer so we should know what is arithmetic and logical operations so our next topic is arithmetic and logical operations arithmetic operations involves the uh, general mathematical calculations like addition subtraction multiplication and division for logical we are getting greater than lesser than equal to etc that is the comparison so how to comp does the computer work it takes the input it process and gives us the output input consists data and instructions process give the instruction as program and output the set of result generated after processing the input so input gives us data instructions process this data instructions stored in the computer to carry out the instructions given by the users and the output gives us the result now the data and information data is the facts figures statistics about particular instance for example marks that may be meaningful or may not be information is the process data obviously meaningful now let's the uh, next topic that is hardware it's the physical components of computer system for example electronic parts cables all accessories you can go through the slides also next obviously software software is uh, are the logical components of computer systems so the difference of hardware and software you can go through from the screen the characteristics speed storage accuracy versatility automation and elegance these are the main characteristics of a computer one by one we will discuss right now the speed in millisecond microsecond nanosecond picosecond the distribution is also given the speed of computer can be measured that is it is very much speedy you can able to get from there obviously due to the speed and accuracy we are using computer the speed factor is there the storage factors is also here we can store a huge amount of information so for the storing purpose we use always computer as uh, the retrieval space media longevity it will be not be disturbed by if the hard disk crash then only it will lost as it will be very safe please go through obviously another points is accuracy computer never makes any mistake when the errors is coming maybe due to the machinery defaults or the efficiency defects or etc wrong inputs given here the versatility is also there 
we can reduce the daily activities into the steps of operations which helps the programming. Go through the channel. Next, automation. Obviously, to perform a particular task stored in the computer, the individual instruction in the program are carried out one after another automatically. Here the delegance is also there. The machine computer, they, know, they don't have any tiredness, just like human beings, or they do not, don't have lack of concentration. So if 5 million work is given, the last one will be with the same accuracy and same speed will be maintained. Go through the channel, we'll go through our slides also. The anatomy, the basic structure of the computers is our next discussion point. That is, the computer receives input, processes it and delivers the output. The task, how can we different uh, way? That is, input devices, which will take input from the users to the computer. Output device, the processed information from computer to user. Obviously, the memory parts is coming where the set of instructions will be stored or the data that provides various other units as when required. It is basically the working memory of computer system. It may be volatile, that is temporary, or if it is non-volatile, then it will be stored permanently. Next, the coming point is control unit. It controls various operations within the computer. It is basically manages all the other units and devices of the computer system. Next, ALU or arithmetic and logic unit. It performs various arithmetical and logical operations on the data stored in the memory as directed by the instructions. There are various basic circuits to perform these operations. The secondary storage is also given. It stores various data, information and program permanently for the future retrieval. Information is organized in such a way to retrieve it in minimum time whenever it is required. It stored information remains as long as the user want. Bus. Bus means the connecting wires. It's interconnection between various devices in the system. Data bus, control bus, memory bus, etc. The block diagram of computer is given here. You can able to see it, go through it from the slides. Where the input is coming from the user, memory unit stores it. It is the arithmetic and logical unit. You can go through it. I am giving you the time to go through. If you want, you can draw it also. So, for that purpose, I am waiting. Now, the data representation within a computer. Obviously, when the data is represented, it should be the smallest amount of information that can communicate to the computer. That is nothing but character. All the data, information, instructions, alphabets, digits are known as character. Even the blank space is also a character. It's a combination of set of all instructions. So, character is a minimal part. Now, computer, how computer understand a character? Character means 
a set of instructions there are two types of instruction instructions may be states that is voltage and non voltage one and zero you can able to see from there that is a pattern of zero one zero one is there that represent the a single character a character is 8 bit and it tell you set of zeros and one to represent the data records see here the details is given the 256 unique combination is there to represent eight phases of a character It's called beat pattern. Go through the slide. Combination of zeros and one. It is showing that. So representation for purpose we are using ASCII also. That is American standard code for information interchange. To represent this. We are using binary numbers, but that is 0 and 1. Let's go through. If you like these videos, then please don't forget to subscribe our channel where regularly we are updating several related topics discussion now see here here also i'm give, showing that zero one pattern that is a bit patterns is there of a character it will be binary numbers that's why it will be two to the power order follow the screen you can able to get for decimal to binary conversion purpose our conversion related lectures is there therefrom you can able to get the details from the playlist you can able to get digital electronics part there the conversion is there therefrom you can study it you can able to get it in detail now here the beat patterns the ASCII codes and characters is given here. If it is 0, 1, 0, 0, that is small a, capital A. Now, the units of measurement of information is generally 8 bits, 1 character or 1 byte. 1, 0, 2, 4 bytes, 1 KB or kilobyte similar for 1024 KB, 1 MB or megabyte, 1024 MB, 1 GB or 1 gigabyte, 1024 GB, 1 TB or terabyte. Now the details is given here, the input devices, keyboards, whatever I am telling here, the details also you can able to study from the screen. Mouse. Scanner. I'm telling only the name, the details you can able to get from the screen. So these are the input devices. Next, optical mark reading that is OEMA, mainly for answer script checking etc purpose we are using WEMA optical mark reading barcode recognition line bar arranged code it is the barcode recognition it is sequence of beat is generated and information is recorded the voice input it accepts the spoken inputs generally the waveform created 
by the input analysis the pattern are extracted matched against the pre-stored pattern to identify the input now come to the output first one our very known monitor or screen that is nothing but visual display unit or VDU the printer types of printers is there in detail of every printers we can able to get our printed related lectures it will be uploaded soon the plotter You can able to get the visualization from there also. The storage devices, hard disk. It's a fixed device of computer, store a large volume of information. It's magnetic media. Floppy disk, it is not supported right now. It is right now, comes as a ancient part, but till what way we can able to show that purposes if I have to tell there the mention we have to V. Next CD the compact disc standard capability is 650 MB CD cannot be erased so you can call it as ROM also read only memory. Now the memory part is coming that is the RAM ROM basic, very basic uh, the RAM these random access memory generally it can read and write both so there are two types of that is uh, random access memory it is the main memory of the computer it is a volatile memory and the information get erased whenever the power supply is off. There are two types of RAM we can able to get. One is SRAM, another is DRAM. SRAM means static RAM, another dynamic RAM. So if it is written once, cannot be uh, changed that need to be rewrite periodically if I have to then it will be static RAM and dynamic RAM it must continuously changes next discussion topic is ROM obviously read only memory it is burned into the ROM chips that is once it is written the instruction then it cannot be erased very easily a fresh information cannot be rewritten on the ROM. So, for bias stored if ROM, because user cannot disrupt this information. There are basically we are getting several types of ROM. P ROM. P ROM that is programmable ROM. Next one. EP ROM next one EEP ROM I think from the slide you can able to get that different types of ROM that is programmable ROM erasable programmable ROM and electrically erasable programmable ROM Please go through the slides. Please go through the slides. If you like our videos then don't forget to subscribe our channel in regular basis we are updating and 
your precious comments will help me how to give more lectures now the cpu central processing unit it is called microprocessor there are cpu with some examples of intel versions is given here you can able to go through different versions and when they introduced by the intel that year is also mentioned the motherboard the motherboard structure is also showing in figure Once again, I am to telling you the software definition that is a set of program that utilizes the hardware to use the capabilities to perform various tasks. And the program is a set of instructions stored into the computer to solve specific problem. The classification of softwares is also there. System software, software and application software. System software can be classified in operating system and translator. Translator may be interpreter and compiler. Whereas application software is ready-made and customized. You can go through from the slide. The definition of system software, software are set of programs specially designed to perform tasks such as controlling computer hardware and utilizing the resource to help the application software solve specific problems. Next application software. See the definition of operating system. The functions of operating system that is memory management, CPU management, input output management, storage and flies management provides user interface. The detail of operating system related notes you can able to get. It will be also uploaded very soon. So don't forget to visit our channel regularly. Now the definition of translator, low level and high level language is also given here. Please go through the slide. A computer language comprises the key word and syntax. There are many languages one can be used to develop program each language has capabilities and limitations also here are some basic languages and their utilizations details capabilities is given also the COBOL basic Fortran and C I think you can able to get from the slide. Now the terms of interpreter which interpret machine level language line by line and compiler at a time execute the whole program. Please go through.
every time i support to give you some time to read yourself it will be more beneficial for that purpose i am trying to give that the compiler takes all the high level language instructions at a time and create corresponding machine languages see here high level language translations and compilations gives us the machine level language a machine language program and come to the application software the program developed for using a language for specific task so that much is our today's lecture if you like then please give your thumb subscribe our channel and share it and don't forget to give your precious command to develop more our videos and please press the bell button